Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill. And today I am finally unboxing this giant package that has been sitting on my kitchen floor for over a month. This is, dun, 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 a lot of you guessed it. This is a stainless steel front apron or apron front, however you say it, sink, kitchen sink. You guys, I am so stinking excited about this kitchen sink. I am going to unbox it and then I'm going to talk about our plans for how we are going to make it work. Because unfortunately, it is just slightly too big to fit with where our current sink is now. But I will get to that later. Let's unbox this thing. So this is the template and this is how you know how to cut your countertop. Also they do recommend that you have a professional install the sink. Alright so I am actually super excited about this part because I love how nice this is going to look in the bottom of the sink. So this is how you would plug up the sink if you wanted to fill up your sink with water. No more of that ugly white rubber thing I have sitting near my sink. Um, and then it also has a basket with a little handle. This little basket with a little handle that just sits in there really nicely to catch all the food so nothing big and no silverware and nothing like that is going down into the garbage disposal. And then you pull it out when you wanna empty out the food. So I actually really love this and I love how they're, how it's all um, stainless steel and they don't have those like black rubber flaps that are in old sinks. Um, so anyway, that is the drain. And then this box just has some hardware in it. And then there is this just flat plate. So I'm not exactly sure what that's for. Um, but I guess I'll find out. This will sit in the bottom of the sink, so this will prevent the sink from getting scratched from your pots and pans and stuff like that. Um, so that is really exciting. And oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how excited I am about the faucet. I am so excited about the faucet because my current faucet, if you haven't noticed, used to be white plastic and I spray painted it black and the black paint is peeling off. My gosh it's absolutely gorgeous it is so deep it is so pretty it is so big I have always wanted one bowl I don't like having the divider in my sink I really really dislike having this divider right here I have always wished that I just had one big sink also look at my faucet really quick you see how bad that is? It is really bad. Okay, 
All right, so anyway, back to the sink. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. It's too heavy for me to pull out of here right now. Um, I'm like really afraid to damage it. But I am seriously so impressed with this sink. I can't believe how affordable it is because faucets like this alone at like Home Depot are like up to $300. And this is the this gorgeous sink and all this stuff that comes with it. I'm just so blown away and so in love. I can't wait to have this installed and start using it. All right, guys, so now to talk about our plan. Okay, so when okay, so when they first reached out to me to see if I wanted to review this sink, I read the measurement for it, and I measured my sink, which is perfect, perfect size, okay? But what I did not account for was the fact that my sink comes out further than this like angle thing here so my sink is more wide than what this front thing is and because this is an apron front sink now i'm thinking i don't think it will work in this spot so my husband and i have been brainstorming in here about how we could make it work because like I have wanted a new sink with one bowl for so long and a new faucet, okay? Like I, so long, okay? Um, so anyway, I really, really want to make it work with this sink. So we were talking about possibly um, just cutting, like first of all, we're gonna get new countertops, but not yet so we're not redoing our kitchen yet so instead we were talking about having like a single standing almost like vintage um vintage kitchen sink looking area over here so the sink would be like like I would be facing out of that window when I'm at the sink now instead of having it in a corner like this I really dislike having this corner set up because I can't reach back there unless I'm standing on a chair. So back there, that corner hardly ever gets clean and to me, it's wasted space. So I've actually also always wanted my sink to just be turned this way. Like, why couldn't it just be like, you know? I don't know. Anyway, I wish it was. So. We're talking about getting just, like, I'm gonna pop up some pictures right here of what idea I'm talking about. Um, it would just be like a table. We could make it ourselves, like a little table with a curtain to hide the plumbing down here and with the sink here. And the only thing I don't know about is connecting the dishwasher to all the plumbing and everything because right now the dishwasher is connected to all this stuff that's right in here so anyway we are just brainstorming and talking about the possibilities and our options um, and how we're going to make this work so anyway i just wanted to do this unboxing and share this product with you guys i will have it linked below if you're interested in it and I, um, let me just show you a little more close. And I, there's like some styrofoam on it. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show like the apron, but it's really hard cause I can't take it out, but it is seriously gorgeous and I'm super excited about it. But anyway, um, Make sure you guys stay tuned because hopefully we will have a little mini kitchen remodel coming up soon and this whole area will change. These cabinets, you guys, 
are so old and disgusting up close like you guys don't see how bad it is up close but let me just show you like over in this spot like when I painted these cabinets white all of the oak stuff shows through it like bleeds through um and the like like all that all that is so ugly the cabinets are just so old and gross down here the bottom are like water damaged and gross and because i used chalk paint they are stained and i have a really hard time getting them clean like this i've never been able to get off it's like blueberries or something so anyway we have been really wanting to get all new cabinets on the bottom a new countertop because this tile and grout is literally disgusting okay it's like almost 30 years old so and i painted all of that tile white so that tile is painted white and it is peeling too it's it's like scuffed and peeling in spots that's the kind of stuff you don't really notice in my videos um but like the grout is so so bad i just cleaned the stove but i was standing over here so i didn't see right here <laughs> that's bad okay pretend you didn't see that but anyway so okay let me stand back again so we are really wanting all new cabinets on the bottom new countertop this sink obviously and then i really want floating shelves on the top and i want subway tile going all the way up on this whole wall and then open shelves i want a vent hood thing over here and then i also want to frame in the windows and have like a really pretty window treatment going on with like some shelves in the windowsill like i have lots of ideas but anyway so make sure you stay tuned because hopefully we will be doing that really really soon all right guys thank you so much for watching this video and yeah i hope you enjoy bye